Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at all seven Fillmore variations I have. Six from Mattel and one from the Disney Store. I was inspired to do this for absolutely no reason. I saw the Volkswagen bus. Uh, actually, it was, came up as a joke in one of my uh, computer classes. And uh, I was like, oh yeah, they made a variation with the eyes up and they made and they have the normal one as well and I, was, uh, I came home and I was like you know what I'm gonna do some film more variations so here we are let's get through this so as like I said we do have seven different ones let's start it off with the Disney Store one this is a tie-dye film more I don't know the exact name I've had this guy for a long time I do know that he does pop up um, in other he does pop up online uh, in terms of like other people getting him that I know um, uh, if you want to get one on eBay I think he's pretty cheap for Disney store cars but it's basically a completely uh, clear film where all the decals are stripped off of him and you got them replaced with tie dye you can see all the colors of the rainbow in uh, the shape of the peace sign you basically just have the rainbow colors going down the side here uh, you do have his um, regular flower pattern on the back, and on the other side, it is the actual tie-dye swirl. A very nice looking car, you can see even the wheels have different colors. Um, next, let's go with this. This is the Cars 2 variation of Fillmore, without the headset. I believe this came in a 2-pack with a Lightning McQueen variant. That's tough. Um, but it is your normal filmer. Uh, if you want to compare them to the normal one, yeah, there is no difference apart from the number nine or the the number ninety five logo decal right there, as well as the expression looking to his right, which looks pretty clean. Uh, okay, yeah, I did want to check that they all had front license plates. I just now noticed that. That would be pretty disappointing if they didn't. Yeah, looking to his right. And you got that iconic number 95 decal on the side. Next up, we have the other Cars 2 film or variation. This is the one with the headset. And um, he does have a different expression. It's closer to the original one. You can see here the uh, closeness and expression. He looks a little bit more like determined in terms of the Cars 2 one. And yeah, he's looking further straight forward um, as I think the original does not do that perfectly. I think they're making him look up. The uh, mouth expression appears to be different as well. Although I cannot quite tell. I don't think it is actually. It might be. But yeah, nothing changed um, from... It's, this is basically a mix of these two plus the headset in the middle. Or, the, yeah, the headset on top. Pretty nice look looking one. Now, of course, we have the original Fillmore in all his glory. The iconic, uh, you know, color. The uh, sea-ish green. The bright sea green. All the rainbow decals. Peace, love, groovy. Flowers everywhere. Here's a little road. Got the stars on top of him. It's something you never really look at too closely is all the decals on him. He's uh, kind of like Chick Hicks on the back here. Jeez, got a whole bunch of bumper stickers. He must have a lot of trips to Lizzie's. Got a few bumper stickers on his windows as well. Uh, those are some cool little details that, yeah, you know, I never really look at. I'm sure most other people don't really look at him as well. Uh, I don't know, another little thing I just noticed is that uh, he only has a right side mirror. Next up, this is probably my personal favorite. This is the looking up variation. I like to call this stoplight Fillmore. Uh, of course, from the iconic scene in Cars 1 where he's looking up at the stoplight saying every third blink is slower. That is what this guy is from. From the 2017 Raiders Rings Classics line. He has not been released since and I don't really see that happening. The difference is, well, obviously they're the exact same, uh, but the expression is changed drastically to um, an open mouth, as well as the eyes looking up. It's a really unique variation. It's often 
forgotten because I don't think he even had an official name. They just released it as a normal film work. The entire, the entire Radio Springs Classics line that year is super good. You had Scott Tiller, aka Bork. You also had a re-release of the Tractor, which is how I got mine. Um, and then you had Intro Ramon, an exclusive Primer McQueen, McQueen, which is an accurate variation. The original one was released in a now extremely rare, um, what was it, 11 pack Toys R Us exclusive, and uh, that one was pretty rare and inaccurate. Um, you had this Fillmore, you had a new accurate Sally with Tattoo, you had a new accurate um, Flow. It was a it was a pretty great line, often forgotten. Love the Sky, personal favorite Fillmore variation. And then you have the final one, which is the Holiday Fillmore. The same decals on the side. He has a similar expression now to that of the Cars 2 without headset Fillmore. And um, he has an open mouth as well. You have Peace on Earth now, taped to the side as a little banner. And he has a nice merry Christmas themed, I guess, headband, whatever you want to call that, uh, scarf going around his roof. So that is Fillmore, probably the best looking uh, townie. That's a really nice little model. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy that. That is the end of the video. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.